An astonishing reversal of fortune. Former Congresswoman Kareem Brown's conviction on 18 corruption charges overturned on appeal. First Coast News broke the news of the court's reversal last night, and tonight we're digging deeper. All your sides and Schindler on how politics and religion collided in this case. Unapologetic. I've done the best I damn could. Unrepentant. I have been targeted. Determined not to carry the label criminal. On my tombstone, it will not say felon. On my tombstone, it will not say felon guilty. It now appears she may have been right. I can't think of a decision that I've ever seen that has generated more controversy than removing juror number 13. James Smith is Corinne Brown's original trial attorney. Juror number 13 said that God had told him beforehand that she was not guilty. And then he said, everything that I've seen during the trial has just reaffirmed that. He never said that he had a fixed opinion which wasn't going to change. The judge's decision to remove Juror 13 formed the core of Brown's appeal. She was joined by several Christian rights groups who argued the judge's decision threatened to unfairly exclude religious individuals from juries. Smith says that appeal had a certain appeal to the 11th Circuit Court. Timing is everything in life. And so the fact that you know her appeal ended up being heard when you had a number of not just President Trump appointees in the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, but also some longstanding conservatives who've been there for quite some time that certainly benefited uh, her. It's up to the U.S. Attorney's Office whether they will seek a new trial or just let the case go. But whatever prosecutors do, Smith says, he does not expect this to be the last chapter. She's, she's going to be back. She'll be back. That's, that's my prediction. She will definitely be a member of Congress. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. And thanks so much. Less than 90.